Well, when I heard that the new LitJoy box was going to be heavy and they were looking for ways to save on shipping, I wasn't expecting this. Well, they really weren't kidding. So stick around and we'll take a look at the new Sweets and Treats box by LitJoy. Hey there everyone, my name's Perry and welcome to The Potter Addict. Well, LitJoy is at it again and they've sent me the brand new Sweets and Treats box to take a look at and I am super excited to kind of open this thing up and take a look at what's included this time and I also got two new keys. So yeah, I know you guys are like, why are you so excited? You still haven't shared your keys with me. Well, that video's coming, I'm working on it. Trust me, hang in there. Um, but let's take a look at the box. Um, here's the top of the box, the kind of spin around of, of things. I mean, it's just filled with, uh, you know, the uh, lemon sherbets, the every flavored bean, uh, chocolate frogs. I mean, it's got a little bit of everything on it. And then, of course, the, the Weasley twins. So let's pop this thing open. Oh, let's take a look at the inside, too, because they've got a little bit more um, yeah, detail in here as well so but let's pop this open and let's get started now first things first let's take a look at this oh we don't want to look at this this is the cheat sheet we'll just set this over here for right now and we will I guess start with my favorite thing of all and that's the keys now guys I know I keep promising you that I am going to do a review of all the keys that I've currently that I've currently just been sitting on. And the only reason I haven't, again, is because I want to share them the right way with you guys. I want to be able to share the details with you up close because these keys are spectacular. Um, I will say that I have recently uh, grown a fondness for the Wizarding Trunks keys as well, but Lit Joys are still top notch. My favorite, hands down, I will definitely be uh, displaying them in box. And they recently just um, just started selling a display case that you can slide the inside of these out of and put into a little box with a mirror or with a little window on the front, a little wood case. Looks really top notch. I haven't picked one up, but I'm definitely going to do that. But like before, I don't want to take a look at these, but I don't want to deny you guys at least the sneak peek. So we'll pull off the felt, let you take a look, and and then that way. You don't have to wait for, for me to, to do this. Oh, hopefully this is an amazing looking key because I am super eager to, to take a look at these and eventually do them in a, um, in a little video for you guys. So I'm, trust me, I'm not just hurting you by pro, uh, procrastinating. I'm hurting me because I want to take these out. I want to look at them. I, I, I mean, cause the pictures I've seen and, and everything else, they look absolutely amazing. So here is key number two. All right. So hopefully that'll tide you guys over until I can get my, my video going on, uh, on the keys. Cause I think that's 22 now. I think we're up to 22. So, uh, it is going to be a two part video. If I keep waiting much longer we're gonna have to make it a three-part video but um without messing around anymore let's dive right in and let's go with this let's start with this item because i have no idea what this is we'll pop this open all right and we got a nice little felt bag that it's in and oh definitely feels like a spoon in here um boy they got this bag tied up so that you can't get in it but feels like a spoon that they've got locked up like it's in Gringotts for some reason. Oh, okay. All right. So this is, look at, how really cute. It's a spoon with a little feather on the, on the handle of it. So cute little, like, teaspoon, you know, to maybe stir up your, uh, your, your butter beer. You know, I don't know, but um, cute, cute little spoon. We'll set that off to the side. Actually, we'll set that on top of this little case there. And we will dive into number two. Let's take a look at this little item. Cute little snowflake on the box. 
All right, and let's pop this open and see what we've got in here. And okay, this is like a it looks like a like a bottle stopper and it's in the shape of a pumpkin. So cute. I am um, not 100% sure what I would use this for, but um but I mean obviously, you know, pumpkin juice stuff like that. I get where they're going with this, but a, a little stopper for a bottle. Um I don't know, guys. I don't know if the if that's if you would have any use for that, but I do not. Um but Again, I mean, they're cute little things. That is the thing with a subscription box, right? When you subscribe to a service, you know, it's kind of hit or miss. You know, you're going to get some stuff you like, some stuff that you, you absolutely love, some stuff that, mm, I mean, isn't all that interesting. I mean, it's some things that you're willing to part ways with and some things you will never let go of. So, um, but let's dive in and I want to do this one just because this one is super cool looking and I already know kind of have an idea of what this is but okay so it is like a chocolate frog box right but it's a little bag of sorts on oh, one second let's take a look here let's unzip this and look at what's inside okay so I think I have an idea of what their plan is for this thing let's open this up so yeah so you've got just a, it's like a little, like little carry pouch, right? Like a little, little handbag of sorts. Um, perfect for you ladies out there who want to display your, uh, your love for the wizarding world. But the one thing I think that you can do with this, and let's see if I'm correct, because I think that's what this is for, is you can display your cards from your uh, from your chocolate frogs, so I mean, put your wizarding card in there in the front, and then have your little compartments in the back to carry little little items. It's not huge; you're not carrying a ton of stuff, but I mean, but it's just a little little handbag. Super cute. Um, again, is it one of those items that I would pick up if they were sold separately uh, or individually? No, I would not. But at the same time, very very cute. Um, this kind of breaks the seal for me on bags because <laughs> Loungefly, look guys, let's not sugarcoat it. Loungefly makes some amazing bags and I have fought the urge of adding bags to my collection for quite some time. And I will tell you, it's hard because the things that they come up with, the most recent one being the Quidditch bag, it's got the big golden snitch on the front and the Quidditch scene behind it. Amazing, amazing. And those guys come up with some really creative things that I absolutely love. Um, let's get back to the box though. Stop getting sidetracked and let's open this one up. This one says Sherbert Lemon, and I'll be honest with you, I'm fairly certain. I don't know if I want to open this or not. Can't smell it through the package, so we're just gonna dive in. I think this is a, a an air freshener. I think that's all this is. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's exactly what it is. Oh, and boy, does it smell lemony. Oh, it smells absolutely amazing. So you've got a little lemon sherbet uh, air freshener, which in my little um, potter area here with uh, the two dogs that are always keeping me company would probably come in very handy. So we'll uh, we'll have this thing hanging, hanging around to uh, sweeten it up down here a little bit. But let's dive back in and let's go with this, this little tin here. So this little tin is, I think, think supposed to be um, resemblant of the Birdie Bot's every, every flavored bean because it says on the side every flavored jelly beans and it even has a list of flavors chocolate spinach peppermint bogies toffee bacon pepper I mean they've got a, a pretty sizable list of, of flavors on the back of on the back of this container cute little tin that you can put your own beans inside of uh, rather than keeping them in the birdie box, uh, little cardboard boxes. I love the little tassel that they put on the top. <laughs> so it's cute. Very, very cute. All right. But so far, still, I'm not really that interested in any of this stuff, right? This this box, to me, isn't something that I wouldn't have picked up any of these items so far. So far, I say, because there is definitely more in this box to take a look at. So taking a look at this one. Not a hundred percent sure 
what this is, but it's got uh, the scenery from um, from the uh, the candy shop on here. And let's pop this sucker open and take a look. Oh, okay. And we've got another mug. So I've got the mug that uh, was from the Shrieking Shack from previous box back there on my shelf. But this one is basically just like the, the box I just showed you. It is just kind of almost like a 360 degree spin of the inside of the chocolate shop. So I love it. I think this is really, really cute. This is a good addition to, to the, the collection over there. I'll have to come up with a, a Diagon Alley shelf to showcase some of this stuff. So let's, let's drive into this one. This one's curious. Now, okay, hold on now. This one also has a snowflake emblem on it, just like this item. So I'm wondering if these, oh, look at that. Look at that, okay. So there is the reason for the stopper, okay? So now you've got a little container to keep your pumpkin juice in, all right? I mean, that's cute, that is cute. I, I really do like that. I would liked it a little bit better if they would have put the, um, like a little bit of a plastic rubber type component around here that would seal this better, other than the fact that it just kind of sits on top loosely. So, I mean, it'll keep things semi-fresh, but um, but then this can easily fall out if you were to tip tip the bottle over. And it's a, a narrow bottle, so, I mean, tipping it would not would not be very hard. But, but again, that is cute. I, I do like that item. Still not seeing something that I would have picked up individually, but we do have, it appears, one more item left. One more item, guys. So let's pop this one open and take a look here. Now, this one does say uh, butter beer. All right, so we're looking up. Oh my gosh, I can already smell it. Oh, yeah, we've got a butter beer scented candle, and it is strong. I mean, look, it was wrapped in two layers of bubble wrap. And, oh yeah, oh yeah, and it is strong. So it looks like a little tiny, almost like a, like a whiskey glass of butter beer. You've got your your fluff on the top there and, and everything in the little butter beer glass. Now this would probably be, with the exception of the keys, because I love me some keys, would probably be my favorite item out of, uh, out of the entire box. You know, um, I just, this box wasn't huge for me. Right? I mean, I, I was very excited to get the box, not as excited now that I've been in the box, but that is part of a subscription service. You just never know. Um, but I love love that candle. That'll also help down here too. Got a little lemon sherbet going scent and get a little butter beer in the air too. Uh, this place will be spruced up in no time. So um, put that one out here. So guys, um, you give me your thoughts. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. W one last little thing and it's nothing too crazy but it is it is just the card the card that was the uh the uh, animation for the or not the animation but the um uh, poster for this particular box set the sweets and treats so so that's the last thing we have now um i was gonna jump and completely bypass this particular item i forgot i mean we've, we've got a this is the cheat sheet and if you look it's really cute it is like a storefront that opens up and gives you the details of of the box so gives you all the details of the box so let's really quickly read this just because i want to see what a couple of these things are so the pumpkin punch bottle that's what this is pumpkin punch bottle since 1837 the delicious drink of apple pumpkin apricot and warm fall spices was available to every witch or wizard preferably chilled you'll love drinking from this pumpkin punch bottle or using it as a decor piece next to your magical collection so i mean i'm not going to read this whole entire thing but let's just really quickly go through so we've got the butterbeer candle like i like i said that was an easy one the sugar quill spoon it's time to sweeten your life with a sugar quill spoon. It can't write, but it can, but, but you get to decide whether it will be one scoop or two. So sugar quill spoon is what this one is. Oh, oh, I dropped the bag. Well, no bag. Um, let's see here. Then we've got the jelly bean tin. All right, self-explanatory, not too hard there. 
the Cocoa Toad Pouch. The homemade sweet shop and trolleys are some of our favorite parts of being a Witcher Wizard. Now you can take your sweets on the road and travel in style with your very own Cocoa Toad Pouch. Fill it with all your necessities. Just be careful when you open the zipper because a chocolate amphibian might jump out. So, all right, uh, again, not too complicated. The homemade sweets mug, we've, we've got that one. That was easy enough. And then, oh, they're showing me the keys. Oh, they're showing me the add-ons. I don't want to see those. <laughs> don't want to see those. So I will keep that for you. But then they do have the advertisement for the next subscription box, which I know I'm even more excited for, and that is Herbology. I am hoping beyond hope that they put in there, and I, I have a mental block with the name of this plant, but it's the Mimbulus, I can't remember the second name, guys. I never can remember the second name, but I, the, the plant that Neville's always holding, you know, there's a tons of different, um, you know, little figures and, and statues of him holding that plant. I'm hoping they add one of those plants in this box, in the, that box, because I I need one of those in my collection. I would love to have one. I know that there's a person on Etsy that makes one that's really amazing. It looks really good, but I just haven't added it yet. Someday down the road, but I'm hoping that maybe Litjoy puts that in the Herbology box. So, um, all in all, guys. So let's let's review here. We've got the candle, the juice. All right, the juice container. We got the mug. The beans, the bag, the sugar quill spoon, the lemon sherbet, which smells amazing. Smells amazing. And then our add-ons of our of our two keys. These obviously were are my favorite two things. I chose these things. Out of everything that's in this particular box, I don't think I would have picked anything. So this box was a bust, but again, it's it's my preference, right? You may absolutely love this stuff. This may be exactly what you were looking for in everything. I mean, with the exception of this, um, and, and well, and the, the, the air freshener, which smells amazing. Um, I don't think I would have picked up any of these items. So, but again, it, it's a subscription service and it's, it again, can be hit or miss. Now, I will tell you that I am, I'm about to subscribe to the Wizarding Trunk just because I have been a huge fan of the past three boxes that they've released. I have loved almost every item they have put in all three of those boxes. And now that I got this box, this didn't satisfy my subscription service needs. So I think I'm going to subscribe to the Wizarding Trunk as well so that I can get that that uh, that fix that I'm looking for. Um, Lit Joy fell short this time, but their previous boxes have been amazing and I absolutely love them. So I've, I've got, again, no complaints because this is part of the, the, the gamble. You know, you roll the dice and you hope for the best, but sometimes it's just not up your alley. But um, so guys, uh, you tell me your thoughts. Any of this stuff of interest to you? Would you pick this box up? Would you pick up any item individually? Um, let me know down below in the comments. And at this point, we're at that time of the video where I need you to please subscribe. If you're here and you have it by now, please, please, please press that subscribe button. I also need you to click that bell notification because that's going to let you know anytime I put out a new video and I've got plenty of new ones coming. Oh, I just got the Firebolt Broom. I've got um, uh, Mad Eye Moody's staff on the way. Uh, what else do I got? I got new Lego sets. I've got more bus to review. I've got two more pop art boxes to go through. I've got, I'm, I mean, the list goes on and on, guys. So click that, that bell notification. Uh, also, give me a thumbs up. Tell me you like the video because those thumbs up mean a lot to me. I really enjoy seeing those and seeing uh, that I did my job here. And then last but not least, Instagram. You got to check me out on Instagram, guys, because I do a lot of fun things on Instagram. I am going to start reposting those as shorts on YouTube because I have found out that there are some subscribers on YouTube that do not um, do anything on Instagram. And I don't want you guys to miss out on those particular things because there's some really fun, cool stuff that I do there that I don't do here. So I will repost those things here and that's pretty much almost like a daily repost. So again, you click that bell notification, it'll let you know when those things pop up. 
Um, but I think that pretty much wraps up everything for this video, guys. I thank you so much for coming and joining me again on another magical journey. And until next time, all you wizards and muggles alike, keep it magical.